Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jenna and this is Jen in Stitches. And if you're not new, thanks for returning. In today's video, we're going to be making the Waves and Wild Superstar Bra. So I first come across this pattern on the Waves and Wild Facebook group. I think it's called Team Waves and Wild. Um, I joined the Facebook group after buying some patterns that I bought for the kids um, to sew up some items of clothing for them. Um, and then I saw some posts on Facebook of this bra and people obviously uploading this bra and saying that they needed to alter it and whatnot. And I was like, where's, where's this bra come from? Um, so I went back on the Waves of Moyled website and then I noticed that they'd actually got a bra pattern. Now this isn't your typical bra pattern, it's more of like a lounge um, bra leisure bra that's what it called if that's what it's called um so it's kind of i don't know if you can see from this this picture here it's crossed on the front um two panels and they cross over um and then it's cross is it racer back or crossed crossed on the back the straps are crossed on the back um and i thought that's fab because I need i'd like a bra just to wear during the day um you know what i mean like just a leisure bra for around the house um i don't like bones in my bras um i am well endowed but i don't like i don't like the feel of bones in the bras so i thought i'd try this and um, there are lots of bra patterns out there and i know a lot of youtubers are doing bra patterns at the minute but when i saw this bra on the facebook group I th the first thing I ever do when I see a new pattern is go straight to YouTube and see if there's a, a sew along of somebody making it up to see whether I, it's something I can do. Um, if it's too too difficult and too faffy, sometimes it puts me off. So I always do that first, I always check YouTube. And there were, I only found a couple of videos um, of people making this bra. They, in the video, I'm not knocking those videos at all. Um, but at the end it didn't show you the fit and these people that made the bras um, obviously that altered the pattern slightly so it fit them perfect which anybody's going to do but it didn't just show you the bog standard video of them making it um, with no alterations you know what I mean it, it wasn't it was too them chopping and changing pieces and, and stuff like that so I thought well this would be the perfect video for me to make um, just to show you how to assemble the bra without any faffing around, altering the patterns, anything like that. So this pattern, you can, there is some optional extras that you can do. So you can add some clear um, elastic, like swimwear elastic, the really thin quarter inch um, I don't have any on hand to show you. I did have some, but I can't find it. Um, you can add that on the, the front here. So on the pattern, this bit here, and it's supposed to give you a bit more support and stop you feel like you're gonna fall out. Um, and you can, there's also an option for this band at the bottom. You can either use, I believe it's called boxer elastic. You can use that on the bottom, so it's just elastic. Or you can obviously use the same um, fabric to make the band on the bottom. You can do a narrow band or you can do a cropped top band, which is obviously a, a wider band. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to make the crop top version. Purely because, oh, table's rocking. Purely because if, if this fits me well, I've never made this pattern before, so this is all new to me, new to you, new to me. Um, if it fits well and I'm not falling out of it, um, I will show you at the end. I'm going to be brave and show you. Um, and I thought it'd be a bit more appropriate if it's a crop top rather than looking like a sports bra. Um, so, sizing. Very, very strange. Um, start again. Oh! So the 
pattern but all like mm -hmm. <laughs> So the first page of this pattern, it gives you all the instructions about measuring. And the very first line, it says, do not use your bra size. My regular ready to wear bra size is a 36E. Um, so obviously you, think you assume that you're gonna be the same, but this is totally different. So my, it tells you to measure your high bust and your full bust so obviously your high bust is underneath just underneath your your armpits and then the full bust is obviously around the fullest part of your bust it tells you to wear a non-padded bra so do wear a bra when you measure yourself but wear a non-padded bra um, and something that fits you well so my high bust measurement is 41 inches and my full bust measurement is 43 inches which I was like, oh, that doesn't seem very a very big difference between the two. So in the step two of this page, it will tell you obviously the difference between your full bust and your high bust. Um, the the number difference is what gives you the cup size. So obviously mine's two inches, which puts me at a B cup. I can't remember the last time I was a B cup. <laughs> I've been in E forever. Um, so yeah, that was a bit shocking. And I thought, no way, that can't be right. I'm not an e, a B cup. But I was like, right, just go with it because it says you can't, you can't go off your normal bra size. So then at the side here, to determine what size you actually need, you go off your high bust measurements. You don't go off um, your under bust measurement. You don't take that at all. So, the high bust measurement for me being uh, 41 inches put me in a double X L, which is fine. So I printed off a double X L B cup. So obviously it takes you through the different um, size ranges and it's in layers as well. So you can uncheck all the, um, the layers that you don't want, the sizes that you don't want and just keep the ones that you do want, which is brilliant when you come to print it off. Um, so I picked a double XL B cup and then it is literally just three pieces that's your um, the front panels and you need to cut two from the outer fabric and two from the lining fabric and then there's the back panels again you cut one on the fold of the outer and one on the lining and then that's your band if you're not using boxer elastic you will have to obviously cut your um, fabric out from it so the regular band is like half the width of this width yeah that's right um obviously i've gone for the, the crop top version so i've gone for the bigger band so it's not many pieces at all and what's the time now almost 12 o'clock so i'm gonna try and whip this up in a couple of hours So the first step we need to do is take our outer pieces. Now it doesn't matter so much with mine because I've chose the same fabric for my outer as well as the lining. So what we need to do is take your back piece. When you do cut these pieces out, make sure you're cutting uh, mirror images. So I just folded my fabric over and then cut it like that. So what we need to do first, this is your outer back piece that will go obviously between your shoulder blades. Just find the right way, that's it. And put those right sides together. Whoops, where's my pins? Okay. 
pushing that down that seam the seam allowance for this pattern is quarter of an inch and I'm going to sew my seams with my overlocker if you don't have an overlocker use a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch a narrow zigzag on your sewing machine and you can always finish the the raw ed edges if you like with a, a false overcast stitch or another zigzag stitch but to be honest because you're using fabric that doesn't fray you can just leave it as is if you'd like so you can Go ahead and pin the other side if you'd like to at this step. Make sure the fabric is touching right sides together, like so. And pin that. Okay, so you should have them pinned by now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run those two edges through the overlocker. Okay, so now we have our outer piece all attached together and sewn together. And, whoops, wrong way around, our lining piece. Again, I've used the same fabric you can use a separate one to the outer one but just to complicate things I've gone for the same fabric so what we need to do now is sew up the bust darts that's the next step so I'm just going to take one of these away doesn't really matter does it which which it is for me using the same fabric so this will be the bust section this is the pattern piece for the bust and this here is the bust dart so what we're going to do oops it's folded down I wondered why that looked a bit funny hopefully it's in shot and you can see so to sew the bust dart I'm going to put those pieces together fold it in like that This is really handy if you've got nails. You just kind of wiggle your nails across the fabric and it kind of moves the fabric top for you so it doesn't affect the one underneath. There we go. Now I'm just going to pin along that dart. What I'm going to do is stick a pin right in this part here where the bus dart stops, like so. That's where I know where to stop. My cutting wasn't very good on this, was it? Let's put another pin in. I've put the pins in the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. So when I sew this, I will start from this edge and sew at a quarter inch, but as I get to that tape, to that point there I'll taper off and go straight off and then sew a knot to secure it in the thread. I'm going to be using a straight stitch and Mariflex thread um, which is for stretch fabrics. If you don't have that you can do again do a narrow uh, zigzag stitch across there with normal uh, thread because you need it to to stretch and give in that area okay so make sure your machine is set up for this fabric do a test piece beforehand uh, because you don't want to start sewing this for it to mess up and then you've got to unpick everything and start again so I'm going to hmm, use probably like a two stitch length um, straight stitch on mine but or if you are um, using normal thread do a narrow zigzag stitch. I've got my pins in the wrong way around because I pinned it from the opposite side, but it's fine. So I'm just going to start 
quarter inch in from the edge. There we go. So at the start you want to stitch. Make sure you're using a um, ballpoint needle as well or a stretch needle. Again, do a test piece first, whether you need a ballpoint or a stretch. Okay, so as we get close to this edge, I'm just going to get closer, so closer to that edge there, and um, so the seam allowance is less, and come right off on that point there. When you're sewing with stretch fabrics, don't pull as you sew because you'll um, stretch it out of shape and as you sew it, it'll keep that weird shape. So you just want to guide it through. Okay, I'm getting close to this edge now, so here's where I want to start to taper off. Getting closer and closer. Okay, so I'm really close now, so what I'm going to do, let's remove that pin. So I know I need to stop about here-ish. There we go, I'll just sew right off that edge. Just move this out of the way so I can show you that edge. So I've just tapered, I've gone from quarter inch right down and then gone right off the edge. And what that does, I'll knot that edge in a minute, that, that thread as well, so it doesn't unravel. So when you turn it right side out, you don't get this like weird point. It's just a nice smooth, smooth edge on that dart. So I'm just gonna knot this off to stop it unraveling. If you did do a back stitch here, it'd just stick out and look really weird. So I'm just going to do a double double knot here. Four fingers and thumbs. I hope you can see this in the shot. Because I did zoom the camera in and cut those threads. Like so. There we go. So I'm going to do that with the other side, with this side. And then I'm going to do it with the other um, piece as well. Right then, so now you've got your outer, whoops, outer piece to the bra and your inner piece to the bra. So you've sewn the back to the sides on both pieces and the bust starts are done on both pieces. So this is the point now where if you want cups in your bra, if you like that padded uh option I don't need that <laughs> this is where you'd put it now in the lining so if you do have cups you just attach it to either side of the breast pieces um, the dome going like this and you'd attach that how the instructions say to do it so I'm going to move on to the next bit where we attach the two pieces together So again, you want them right sides touching. This fabric really likes to stick to itself for some reason, and it's a bit frustrating. So we just want to lie that on top first and just make sure we've got it all sitting nice before we start pinning. Again, sticking to itself, there we go. So what we're going to do now, just get that to sit flat. So now we're going to pin from this edge up to the top. Leave the gap open here at the straps because 
we'll, I'll show you what to do on that bit in a minute. Pin all along the underarm edge up to this bit here. So I'll pin all along here, again leaving this bit open, pin this bit here, leave that bit open and pin again on this curved edge, underarm edge. Oh gosh, this fabric. Pin up here, leave that edge open and pin down this bit. So that's now all pinned what we're not going to do we're not going to sew this bottom edge here because that's where we'll attach the the band the under bust band in a minute so leave that open don't worry about that yet just round the curve Okay, lovely. So now we have our pattern pieces together. So we've got one big piece now. So again, I'll put you overhead so you can see me doing the next step. Okay, so now we've got our outer piece attached to our liner liner lining piece uh, or inner piece whichever you want to call it so now we've got those attached we've left the openings here and here for attaching those together so if you wanted and are using the uh, clear elastic for the extra support you can attach that now um, to do that you would sew the elastic the quarter inch el elastic just along this edge here and you'd sew that to the lining part so if this is your lining uh, facing up you'd sew it here and here and you'd sew it to the lining so when you turn the bra the right side out it will roll towards the lining so you won't have the lining sticking out the front if that makes sense so you'd sew it along this edge here and along that other side some people do attach it all the way around but um, I'm not going to do it I'm not I've not got any left um, I've used it in another project, so I'm not going to be doing that today, but I will see how this fits with this fabric. And if I feel in future like I want to make another, but I need a bit more support, 
I will purchase some more quarter inch elastic and sew that to that area. But yeah, we're not going to do that today. I'm going to go on to the next step. So the next step for me is to flip this the right way out. side out we can kind of see coming together a little bit more now so this is where you can give it a press if you'd like to depending on the type of your fabric um, you don't have to I don't think I'm gonna bother to be honest but you can do if you want to make it sit a bit a bit nicer if you have used the elastic just be super careful when you iron in case it like melts the fab the uh, elastic just be really careful um use your iron on a low heat so what we're going to do now we're going to put the outer bit to the back so the lining facing the lining facing the lining is face up and this is where we're going to bring the bra together so you can either go that way and do it a crossover like that or you can go that way. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think I have mine more that way, I think. No, other way. I prefer mine the other way, I think. That's why I think I'll have mine. What you want to do, this is the perfect point now where you can put this on. Obviously it's not attached at the strap so it's going to be a bit odd. But you could put this against you, put it on, and you can, if need be, if you feel like it needs to come in closer, you can attach it closer and you'll have more, uh, less of a, a V here. So you should be showing less of your cleavage area. Or you can have it more spaced apart. So we're showing more of your cleavage area, but obviously that will affect how much support you're getting um, across the side of your breasts. So for me, and it says in the instructions, if you're unsure, is to pin it where the bust darts are, is to pin just at the bus start or just past, I think I'm just going to go just past just so I make sure it's nice and secure. So it, for me, it, I've literally done it probably about a quarter of an inch just past that bus start. And I'm going to pin that, let me just spin this round so I can pin it. And obviously you only want to pin this um, piece to the front. So, and then you just follow it across. You can cut all these off in a minute. Just make sure it's all nice and smoothed out and flat. You haven't stretched it. So it's just past that bus start. Where are we? There we go. That'll do. I'll neaten that up in a minute. So there we've pinned. I'll just straighten that back out. And put your back around this way. So now we've pinned it together. So you can see it's more, it's coming together more now as a as a bra shape. So at this point you can, because you've got the pins on, you can pop it on. Um it says in the pattern too. Pop it on and just see if you want to alter that whether you want to bring it in to get closer together or further apart but I think I'm going to leave it like that because I'm lazy and can't be bothered so what we need to do next is we just need to baste this bit down 
so it doesn't move when you're attaching the band at the bottom so we're just going to base this bit down um, just where the bus starts end I'm just going to go past that little um, overlap there just base it down um, the seam allowance uh, the usual seam allowance is quarter of an inch so I'm going to go uh, probably about an eighth of an inch So now we've got the the front attached and basted down we can now attach the straps now this is the bit that I had to reread over and over again because I just couldn't work it out in my head um, so if you're anything like me I'm gonna go slow on this bit to show you um, I just found this bit a bit mind-boggling once you've got it and worked it out it's not that bad but so this is your back these are where the straps are going to attach so what you want to do, you want to open that, that bit we left open. So there's your front, there's your back piece. Open it up. It's a bit harder to, to see because I've used the same fabric for the inner and the outer. I suppose it would be a bit easier if I'd used a different type of, um, a different pattern fabric. But hey ha. So we're going to turn those out. Right. So we've turned those pieces out now. Have them pointing down and your straps going up like so right now the videos I've watched online some people prefer to have their straps like so like a normal bra but if you're going to do that you have to take off um, some length in the straps now obviously I've, I've never made this before I don't know how I'm going to prefer to have the strap so I'm just going to carry on with the pattern how you're supposed to do it um, if there's anything I'd like to alter when I make another one the instructions tell you exactly how to change things do the cup sizes different and put more fabric across the the bus so it gives you more coverage all that's in the instructions so but today we're just going to do it straight off the bat how you're supposed to do it and see how it fits first so I'm going to cross them over like it says to in the pattern now it doesn't say to cross one way over the other way it just says cross them over so I'm not going to I'm not going to worry too much about that so I'm going to pop one so you want to open that up and pop that inside there make sure this isn't twisted and make sure it's all sitting nice as say if you want to give it a press to make sure it's all sitting nice but mine's mine's sitting quite flush anyway so just pop that in there like so I'm just going to spin this round so I can get in there a bit easier and show you so you just want to grab that strap this bit is a bit fiddly and I said as I say it's a bit mind-boggling at first to me yeah, to me it was anyway right so we just pop that strap in there so right sides are facing like so and you just want to bring that strap back just a little bit slowly so that it's flush with that edge there we go and stick a couple of pins in now I've got it in my head it seems easy but when I was trying to do it just I was like this isn't gonna work what the hell <laughs> right so now we're gonna do the other one so cross that over that one make sure again that it's all nice and flat not twisted else you're going to have to unpick it all and you'll be swearing and cussing at it so we just pulled that through like so make sure it's all nice and flat nothing's twisted OK, 
okay so we're just going to pull that back again so it's nice and flush with this side with this edge sorry there we go and stick a couple of pins in to keep it from moving because we don't want to move make it move at all okay so now what we're going to do we're going to sew across these edges now you can do this in, on the overlocker but i think it's going to smush that edge up and create like a weird lump so i'm going to use the sewing machine and just sew a quarter of an inch away from this edge and just do a straight shit i can't get my words out just do a straight stitch along that edge because i'm using mariflex thread uh, if you're not using that thread just do a narrow zigzag stitch and i'm just going to go over it a couple of times at the end just to really secure it in because that's going to be a stress area so i'm going to do that now I'll move the camera and i'll show you that these threads and I'll take you back up overhead to show you what it looks like when I turn these the right side out okay so we've just sewn across these edges I'm just going to snip the corners slightly just so it's not too bulky when we turn it out only slightly Make sure you don't cut into your stitches. Right, so now we can pull on our straps. Moment of truth. Oh, that's not too bad. We've got a little bit sticking out on that side, but it's not too bad. It's fine. Where's the other one? There we go. Let's pull this one out. Just be gentle, you don't want to snap anything. Oh, that one's that one's perfect almost. Oh well, we've got one that's a bit odd, one that's nice. Right, so that's our back straps fastened like so. It's all coming together now. So now the next step, I believe. Let me move all these little bits out of the way. It's starting to look like a bra now, isn't it? So the next step now, I believe, is to attach the band. So let me just grab the band piece. Okay, so this is the band piece for my bra. I'm doing the crop top version, so my band piece is wider than the normal option. If you're going to use the box of elastic, you just sew it in half like like this, There's the instructions tell you exactly what to do if you're going to be using the boxer elastic. Boxer elastic is like the wide elastic on that are on the edge of the boxes, on the top of the boxes. Um, again, I've never used that. Um, I don't have any, so this is why I'm doing this version. So what we're going to do, we're just going to fold this in half. Like so. And I'm just going to run this edge here um, in through the overlocker to secure that edge. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've just run that edge through the overlocker. I'll just snip these threads off. So what I'm going to do now, this is a little tip, I can't remember where I saw it, um, it might have been on um, Instagram or something like that. To make the seams sit nice and flat. If you have, let me show you, if you have that while it's inside out, like so, make sure each edge is lining up here. And then 
just ever so slightly snip that one there on that on that edge just snip that fold where the half is don't go all the right all the way through just just to that first stitch on the left needle just don't go through that left needle stitch like so so then when you turn this right side out you can have one bit of the seam going that way and then flip that over like so and put that bit of the seam the other way it just doing that little snip just allows you to put the seams up together instead of having them lying on top of each other which you know I hate and it drives me mad it just reduces the thickness and the bulk in the seams so as you can see one's going one way one's going the other way so just put them nicely together this fabric is so bad at sticking together <laughs> it's so frustrating right let's just stick a pin in that stop it moving then so the next step let's move that out, out the way in a minute so we've got our band piece ready now like so so this seam let me just move that pin now I've flipped it the other side so this seam is going to be your back seam so it's going to be on the center back of your bra piece so we need to quarter this now and find out where the quarters are even quarters to attach it to the bra piece so to do that we're gonna it's just like doing a neckband if you've done a neckband before so we're gonna find out the halfway point which is here so we stick a pin in there like so and then to find the quarter pieces we put the two pins together so now we've got that pin matching with the back seam and then that gives us our quarter pieces for the side bits oh I've got a rogue bit of fabric there Again, we just pop a pin in there. Pop, oops. Pop a pin in that edge there. And then we'll stick them in properly. That'll do. Right, so that's that quartered. And we've just got reference points now. To make sure that the stretch is even as we attach it to the bra piece so what we need to do now is take the bra piece now we can't really determine the middle of this um, we could go off the side seams and match the side seams up we could do it like that and give us gives us kind of like a rough um, half point halfway point so we'll do that, stick a pin in. This is the bit that's fiddly, it's the front piece that's a bit fiddly. So it doesn't have to be perfect as long as the stretch is even. So, ouch, we'll do that. Stab myself with a pin. So we found the front centre and the back centre. But while it's on its side, if you look at it like this, there's less fabric on the back piece than on the front piece. So if you put the same amount of stretch on that front front piece to the back piece, this is going to be stretched, this band is going to be stretched a lot more on the front than it is on the back. So this making perfect quarters doesn't work in this situation. And sometimes it's the same with a neckband. You'll stretch the front part of the neckband out 
than more so than the back part so what we're going to do is we're going to match up the back pieces and then work match up the front pieces and then try and stretch this out and make it as this bit even to match that bit okay so we've determined our back piece so i'm just going to on the bra part just make sure that pin's secure so i'll just put it there as a reference this fabric just wants to move all over the place it's really annoying there we go pop that pin back in there right so that's our back piece back center center back to that bit right so what we're going to do is put so that's the raw edge of your band so find that back seam which is this bit here and then get your bra that's the back center piece here and pop that inside so your band piece is over the bra piece. So both raw edges are together. So both raw edges are touching. So what we're going to do, we're going to marry up those centre back pieces. Like so. Again, it doesn't have to be dead on. It's just so that we can get it as even as possible. Then we're going to flip it over. Don't worry about the side seams yet because as I said it's going to stretch it too much on the front so we're going to marry up where's that pin I didn't even secure that down very good did I there we go so we're going to marry up that front piece center piece like so okay so now what we're going to do we're just going to lift it up so there's there's our side seam and there's a side seam so that just look at the difference look how much i'd have to stretch the band and that point there to make it fit can, compared to that bit there that's almost together so i hope that makes sense that the back bit will be hardly stretched and the front bit will be too stretched so what we need to do is kind of grab the front and the back together the back pieces and give it a little give it a little stretch and try and get that that stretch even it is it's hard to do it is it's not the best but there's the side seam and there's the this what would have been the side seam pin so i'm just going to i'm just going to put that there for now and then see what the stretch is like see that's loads better so that's too much stretch now so we need to move that across a bit more I'm hoping I make sense. I don't explain myself very well sometimes, but I'm hoping that makes sense. See, that's not too bad there now. Let's have a look at this bit. I'd say that was virtually even. Okay. So yeah, it just goes to show. Sorry, that's my Midlands accent coming out there. It just <laughs> it just goes to show. There's your side seam on the bra part and that would have been the side seam on the band. There's probably about an inch difference there. So you're just going to have an extra two inch stretch on this bit here and it's going to be too tight across the front and too loose on the back. I hope I've made sense. You just got to get it even. As long as the front and the back is pinned so that your back seam runs down the back 
and doesn't look odd at an odd angle. You just want to stretch this out now, this band out, to make it fit that front of the bra. It's really hard to explain. You can neaten all these edges up in a minute and just pin it in place first and make sure all the stretch is even. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to go and stretch that band to the bra and pin it all in place. And then I will be back with you. Okay, so we've got all that pinned and it's all evenly pinned as well now. Um, so we won't have more stretch on the front than on the back. It should all be nice and even. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut my threads first, some random thread. I'm going to sew this bottom edge on my... turn it right side out and have a look and I still tone it upside down didn't I <laughs> I can't believe I've sewn that upside down this is my my brain works my, yeah. I should have checked that before I sewed that down. That's really annoying. I'm not unpicking it. It's not to show to everybody. I know I'm showing like the whole of YouTube, but <laughs> right, I'll I'll take you back overhead and show you finished. Right, it's all finished. Yes, we can all spot the mistake that I've made. I can't work out certain things in my head and I think I've put it together right and it's going to sit the right way around and then things like this. Let's have a quick look. So I've sewn the band on. Um, I just did it with my overlocker. You can go uh, ahead and press this down towards the band and or to, up to the bra and top stitch but I'm not going to bother doing that. It's just extra steps that I don't need to do. So yeah, that is pretty much how it looks on the pictures, apart from having the band upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna now try it on and I will show you what it looks like on. I'm gonna be brave and show everybody. Okay. Right, here we are. Let me just pull my trousers off a bit so you don't see too much flesh. Right, I've popped my husband's jacket on just to cover my shoulders while I'm talking to you. I will show you properly what it looks like in a minute. So, we can all spot the mistake, like I said earlier. The band's on upside down. We're going to ignore that. Don't know what I did. <laughs> I know what I did wrong, obviously, but I honestly thought I was doing it right and I wasn't. You'll see from the video. You'll be like, Jenna? That's not going to work out the way you want it to work out. That's wrong. But there we go. Anyway, I digress. So, straight off the bat, it looks fine, doesn't it? Excuse the uh, tum. Um, I've got a pair of gym leggings on that are high-waisted, so you don't, as I say, don't see too much flesh. So, let me just show you something. There is no more, there's no more give in this at all. Um, I think 
this isn't the right fabric for it obviously it's a it's a cotton jersey um i think i cotton with um lycra uh lycra jersey would be a lot better for this if i was to do it again in this fabric i haven't got any more of this fabric now the the pieces the pattern pieces the bits that i've got left are too small but if i was to do this kind of material fabric again I would make the cup size bigger. Um, they're pretty squished in there, the ladies. The ladies are pretty squished in there. Um, if you can see this bit here underneath, it is pulling, but it's. I think it's because the fabric isn't stretchy enough. It hasn't got enough stretch. Um, so this is, I mean, <laughs> without getting about showing you, my... Uh, boob is it finishes like here it's it's coming underneath this band here and obviously it's not in there properly um but it looks fine i wouldn't say it's a complete fail i'm not going to say it's a complete fail i think it's my fault for not picking the right fabric um this fabric was i had it off vintage as like a remnant um and it just said cotton jersey it didn't tell me exact the exact composition of it so it seemed stretchy enough when I chose it for this make, but obviously it wasn't. Um, I'm just going to take this off my shoulders and show you the, the back. It might seem like it's cutting into me because it does. It is feeling very tight. So um, that's the back. It seems it does look okay. Um, take that bit down a bit more. It does seem okay. It doesn't look... Um, it doesn't look that bad, but I can feel it's too tight. The band's fine. The band on the bottom is absolutely fine. That fits really nice. Um, the thing about stretching it equally all the way around has worked. That fits perfect. Yeah, I just don't think it's the right fabric because it is like pulling. You know what I mean? It's really pulling across my shoulders here. I think this is going to go in the mending box, um, my pile of things that I need to fix that I'll never get into. Um, I think what I'm going to do is unpick the band first because obviously I need to get inside to resort the straps out. So I think I'm going to unpick the band, take all that stitching out get it sewn up, get it done the right way around when I put it back on. Um, I think what I'm going to do, instead of crossing the the, um, the back straps over, unpick the straps and put them so it's like a normal bra, so it goes straight over the shoulders. I don't think it will pull so much then. I may be wrong, but it's worth a try because it's not too bad everywhere else. It's not like it's not going to be a perfect fitting bra with bones in and you know what I mean like fancy bras from the shops it's something that you've made and it's just a leisure bra but it is it is too too tight here um and I don't think there's enough area for the girls to sit in um right I'll just take this down so you can see it's all right I'm sitting in my <laughs> in front of my bedroom windows and my bedroom windows are absolutely huge so I don't want to seem like I'm sitting here in my bra flashing flashing it the camera doing god knows what um so there we go i i believe i'm quite broad shouldered so that might be a problem um with the fit so yes i think i'm going to i'm going to try this pattern again definitely because it's it is really comfortable um other than things i've said i think i'm going to do it again but I'm going to get, try and buy some, um, or go into a fabric shop to, to feel the fabric. Something with a lot more stretch, maybe. Um, I don't think I have anything in my stash like that at the minute. I'll have to have a look. But I am definitely going to make it again. I need to put this back on because it's absolutely freezing in my house. And I'm in front of the window, so I need to put this back on. Um, there we go. So yes, I think I do like it. Um... I'm going to make it again, but we'll change the fabric. 
if you have any suggestions for any alter alterations if you've made it yourself um anyway any comments that will help me make this fit a little bit better it doesn't look ridiculous does it i don't think it looks ridiculous it's not like the bulging out um but yeah if you can if you've got any advice any tips anything like that please let me know in the comments if you'd like to ask me put away my fat if you'd like to ask me any questions as well you can leave those in the comments i do reply to everybody um and i'll read all my comments so i will get back to you right then so i'm going to leave it there today i'm going to go and get dressed now because it is too cold to be sitting around in a crop top anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and share it with your friends if you like my content please consider subscribing and don't forget to press that little bell and then you'll be notified of when i upload any new content so i will see you all next week have a nice weekend bye